What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here in version 125, the most recent, the newest, thank goodness. Finally. And uh, I have... Let's, oh, crap. I don't have any reeds. Let's go get some reeds. I have 50 levels to spend again. And I hope to, in this episode, go back to the stronghold and explore it, as well as make ourselves a bit of a map over there. Can I just... um. Can I get some of those reeds from you there, bro? That's whatever. Good enough. That reed farm is sort of deprecated, so I don't really care. It's outlived its usefulness. <laughs> Oops. I always do that backwards. Alright, so now I've got enough paper. Do I have a compass? Let me see. I don't have a compass laying around. Dun dun dun. Got that. Got some redstone. Just make another one. I'm not gonna... Maybe I'll make the map when we're out there just to make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. But first thing I want to do is, before we leave, I want to enchant an iron helmet, I guess, will be the next step. Because right now we've got... Where is it? Chest plate and leggings. And we have an enchanted sword with looting. So, I don't know. Maybe I should go for the bow enchantment, actually. Yeah, let me, uh, let's go for the bow enchantment instead. Cause I, I don't know what it takes to get infinity or anything, but, oops, I should probably bring the bow with me. But, it always takes me, where the heck did I put it? Okay, it always takes me ages to make a, a level 50 enchantment appear on screen, so I'm just going to cut to when I get one. Oh, there's one, that was fast. Ball other creature demon. Oh, oh what? What is punch too? I don't even know what that does. I have no idea what I just got, but it's not infinity. Let me shoot something. Let's see what happens. Is that like knockback? What the heck does punch too do? Does it make fruit flavored beverage come out? I always thought that was blood. Right, let's see. Oh, well, I should bring some arrows with me for this. Derp. Anyway, it's not infinity, so I'm gonna try again. I made a copy of the world. Meow. Jesus, you guys are loud. Ah, there it is. Zizzy creature free dry. Oh, oh, ah. Flame one? Are you serious, man? Vanilla in crafting. <laughs> Vanilla in crafting. Vanilla enchanting sucks. Hello, kitty. Let's try again. There's one. Meow. Meow. Yes. Elemental fire sphere. Th oh. Yes. Okay, I don't care. It's infinity. I don't care what it's called, it's infinity, I'm taking it. Awesome, finally got one. Jesus, that took three tries. Level 50 enchantments. I wonder what the first two were. Flame one's probably just fire aspect, right? But for bow, and I'm assuming that the other one was just a knockback or whatever. Anyway, alright, so that's level 50 bow. That's probably a waste of levels, though. I feel like you can get infinity at lower levels than 50, but don't care. Alright, I'm gonna, let's see, drop back down into the zombie spawner. And pick up... Well, let's bring some more food than this. Well, let's go upstairs and get some. See if the melon farm is ready to go. I occasionally harvest it off screen, so we've got quite a number of melons already in chests. But it's still fun to see it in action, yeah? <laughs> so many melons! This will get me to the stronghold and back. Awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna drop down to the zombie grinder and get one of the many swords and pickaxes and shovels that's down there. And then we will head off on our journey to the stronghold from last time. I think I can remember... Ooh, spider. Ha ha! You can't get me now. Except for when I try to come out. Look at him spinning circles. He's so confused. The pathfinding's like, where is he? I remember back in Alpha when creepers would get on top of your house and just follow you around on the roof. So funny. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna take this, and this, or this! Back up we go. I'm pretty sure I can just sort of eyeball it and find my way back there, which would be best. One of you was kind enough to leave the coordinates as a comment, so thank you very much. I, I didn't write them down or anything, though. No. So I don't actually know what they are. Spoiler? Creeper! Oh, you didn't blow up! You don't have the guts. Oh god, he's got a friend. I'll just leave that open. Time to go! 
So, I recently installed Magic Launcher, which after... What? How long have I been playing Minecraft? Like, two years? A little longer than two years? No, about two years. Um, after playing Minecraft for about two years, I have never once seen anything as amazing as Magic Launcher. It's freaking great. Somebody suggested it in a comment, and a friend of mine told me about it once, but I'd never actually looked at it until today, and holy crap, it's awesome. I'm sorry, it just freaking rocks. It basically lets you install mods dynamically, so you can have, like, multiple jar files, you can have multiple mod configurations, and you'd be, like, put together a profile where it's like, I want to use... Is this a snowy swamp? It is, okay. You put together a, a jar file, basically, with with different mods, and that you put that together as a configuration, and that ends up just... So you pick which setting you want to use when you start recording or start playing or whatever. Yeah, people who just play games, they don't make videos. It's a weird perspective for me to be in. Anyway, I've got, so I've got three setups on there now. One of them is vanilla, the other is making videos, and the third is actually a an, an, an attempt at getting... Uh, what's it called? I want to say artificial intelligence. No, equivalent exchange is a. Uh, I have equivalent exchange installed on the third account, which is pretty friggin' great. Friggin' vines? They didn't used to slow you down when you ran into them like that. I don't think so, at least. So we were right off the corner of the map last time, weren't we? Or at least, no, actually, we ran right off the top, and then we ended up going off to the side. So I think. I feel like I'm heading in the right direction. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. I could miss it by quite a distance. Oh, and since I I read I redid all this stuff, so I had to fi I had to change all my settings. Let me see. Show coordinates. That's what I want. Yeah. So I I had to do all kinds of crap just to get this stuff uh, back together. I I recently moved all the mods. I, I showed you we're in version the most recent version, the newest version of Minecraft 125. I had to port all my mods over and. <laughs> Magic Launcher made it awesome! I was really pleased that I didn't have to constantly copy crap back and forth between Java archives. Because trust me, that is not the funnest way to fix your your launcher or your, uh, whatever. I'm talking about boring stuff today. I'm trying to find this stronghold. I gotta wait and see when we're on the edge of the map. I'll make a new one. I guess this is far enough, isn't it? Let's get out my workbench. Ugh, Jesus. I'm retarded, seriously. What's the nearest tree? Which one of these trees is the closest? I'll run back, I don't even care. It'll keep me on the map, that way I don't run off the edge. Or hell, let's just go this way. I mean, one of the coordinates was a thousand, and the other was like... 250 or something like that? I think that's right. Something near there, so we're heading the right direction at least. Negative 250 maybe? I can't remember. Yeah, look at that texture glitch. Crazy stuff. Oh yeah, I just got wood for the first time. Didn't you guys know? You guys are here for this momentous occasion. Let's make a map. Right here! Right now! Oh yeah, I forgot, you appear in the middle of a map. Well, that kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping it to appear, to appear in the bottom right corner, because that would have been the most convenient. Oh well. Ah, uh, it takes so long to get your hunger filled back up for melons. I shouldn't have abandoned this workbench. I should bring it with me. Take me home tonight! <clears throat> God, my throat. I don't know what it is, but something in the air today, the pollen or something, is just going nuts, and I have had the worst allergies in like a month today, when the pollen count supposedly is lower. Like Something new has come into bloom, and I am not pleased. Okay, so let's start trying to recognize landmarks out here. I'm probably off the edge of this map, aren't I? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So somewhere up here, there should be a curious little mountain that has a stronghold down inside it. And hopefully we can find it just by sight. I might be able to use this map to help me out a little bit, actually. I hate not being able to look down when you have a map out. I wish there was a better way to interface with that rather than just having it block your feet all the time. Okay, now I'm kind of going based on the coordinates I thought I remembered seeing, so... Derp! Freaking snow trap! Look at, th look at this! Come on now. It's not cool. Fix your game, Jeb. Fix your game. 
This place looks familiar. Yeah, it's right over there, isn't it? Okay, good. Man, I'm glad I have a visual memory. Getting, I would get lost in Minecraft all the time if I didn't. This is not the mountain I thought it was. <laughs> Wait a second. I think that this is... Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, I think it's actually right... Right over there. Let's go check it out. Oh, no, it's right here. Yeah, okay, I knew it was this way. There's the entrance right there. Sweet. So yeah, the coordinate, that coordinate was pretty accurate. Neg negative 1,000, negative 250. Thanks, guys. Sweet. Let's go down here. And this is where the friggin' thing actually is. I got an egg somehow. Oh! A baby chicken! The elusive cave chicken. And down here... Ooh, how far down was it? Like 20 or something like that? Oh, no, here it is. Alright, sweet. Tell me I brought torches with me this time. Nope. Cool. <laughs> here goes nothing! Alright, let's see. Maybe I'll find torches down there. Oh, hello. Got a silverfish going crazy already. He ran right in the lava! Sweet. You know what? I don't want this sword. I want to get my new sword out. If I drop in? Everybody cool? Everybody just be cool! Hello. You're a zombie. Oh, you're a silverfish. Oh, there's a spawner in here. Holy crap. Oh, Jesus. They're going nuts. Oh, they're so adorable, and the lava's coming out. How the hell did that happen? Oh, they were silverfish blocks, weren't they? Dang, okay, hang on. I got some brick here. I can fix this. I need to get rid of that spawner. I'm not interested in it. If I want to make a grinder on a silverfish spawner, I'll find another stronghold. So I'm just going to break that one. Hey, would you cut that out? They're adorable. They're not even dangerous. And you, oh, you're dangerous. Get out of here. Crazy skeleton. Stop it. Pick me to your torches. Pants, bread, thanks. It's dark in here. If only I'd brought some torches with me. It's nice and light over here in this library. That's legit. Golden apple and an ender pearl? Sweet. Dude. Sounds like a zombie bringing down a door. I don't even know where the doors would be in a library. Let's go upstairs. Get the high ground. Dude, that's obnoxious. They're going crazy down there. This is neat. I've never been in a stronghold before. I've seen pictures. Look, there's a chest full of books in the corner. What loot? I see a chest down there, too. Let me bust through this. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys are crazy. You're scary zombies. Scary zombies. Yeah, keep playing it up. More books. Any more chests sitting around here? Hidden? Ah, Jesus. Hidden chests, perhaps? Is this a spawner back here? What the heck's going on? It is! Dude, that's pretty sweet. How, what are the odds of those two being so close together? <laughs> if only I had torches, I could actually light up this spawner and just go inside. As it is, I just should eat some more friggin' melons so my health regenerates. Well, this is an interesting find. Is it typical for a... Stronghold to have a spawner in it? I'm not familiar with these sorts of things. I'm just gonna ninja it and get the heck out. Oh yeah, it looks like it continues. It actually looks like it's in like a room at the end of a hallway. It's pretty legit. Oh, hello. Where is that zombie breaking down a door? Oh, he did it. He broke it. Wherever it was. Or it sounded like he did. Huh. Weird. Alright, well, we'll just continue exploring. I think I might... <laughs> I was supposed to explore the stronghold in this video, but I didn't bring any torches, like an idiot. More chests. Dude, more enderpearls. That's, a, that's adding insult to injury, I'm, I'm sorry. Putting enderpearls all over the place. When you're already there. When you've already found. That's interesting. <laughs> I'll take that torch with me if I drop some lily pads. Light the way with our one torch. Two torches. There we go. Excuse me, Mr. Spiderweb. I'm here to explore your libraries. I'm in your libraries, sniping your spiderwebs. Where's the ladder? There we go. I'm already starting to get to know these... the layout, at least. Oh, God, my wrist hurts. 
I'm making a doctor's appointment about that. It's ridiculous, man. Straight up ridic. More books! This is not what I was hoping to find in a treasure chest. Where are there zombies breaking down a door in a library? I'm perplexed. More books. What's the point of all these hidden, hidden chests if they just are just full of books? Not saying that books aren't valuable, but in Minecraft they aren't particularly useful. If I wanted books, I could just break down the... Hello. Oh, come out. Too bad. Oh, there's a creeper in there. I'm going to leave that door closed. Where did I come from? Oh boy. I think I came from in here, actually. Yep, I did. I walked right over this. This place is weird. It's really dark, too. Derp. Anyway, I want to... Derp! I can't... I'm not used to these staircases with a hole in the middle. It's going to keep throwing me off, I guarantee it. It's going to keep messing with me. Look at that! Look at the creeper up there! Stealth creeper. Seriously, though. That zombie's going nuts. Where are you, dude? It's loud. Oh, there it is! Did you see that? He just broke through. That was kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Not in this LP, at least. Alright, let me do something about this. There we go. I think I might have seen some coal out here, actually. Did I, was I imagining that? Look at this, there's a cave going right through this thing. Okay, well, I imagined the coal, but... Are you going to fall in the lava? Yes, you are. Sweet! A totally empty frame. I didn't bring any ender eyes with me, either, so I guess we're not going in there. I just wanted to explore this place. I probably could just light... I could light up just enough to make it safe for me to chill out here for a minute or two. I'm not worried too much about long-term stuff yet. Let's get up here. Come on, give me some coal. I was too stupid. I didn't bring torches. Oh, more angry zombies down there. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is... Um, let's see. I can make a furnace, but I don't have any, I don't have any wood to make torches out of. Or, yeah, and to make the charcoal out of. Hello? Oh, there's a, there's a torch down here. Yeah, I hear you. How about you? These places seem a little bit... Yeah, weird. <laughs> just dead ends, and so the whole la layout is sort of labyrinthian. I guess that's in intentional. Oh, over and across, and then back down, and it's just another dead end. Very weird. I think the mossy stone fits in with the with the other brick now better, and so does the cracked stone. Those worked out pretty well, I think, when we changed it the last time around in the poncho pack. All right, what's down here? Another chest. Sword, redstone. I don't need either of those, do I? Do I gonna have to mine my way back? Oh no. Okay. Oh shit! Get out of here, you! Ouch! Every time that happens, my wrist is like, aha! Why are you turning me? Um. Interesting. There's like another floor down here. There's like a hole between the two. Why the heck are they built like that? Fix your game, Jeb. Hmm. I was <laughs> like, this can't go far. Yeah, I just is that supposed to go down or something? That's another creeper. Get out of here. Would you stop? Did I hit that last one with a pick? I think I might have. Would you just, just friggin' yeah, just do it. I don't care. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the, um... Derp. Friggin' buttons, why are they so small? There we go. I'm gonna go back to the room with the... thing. This is a derp-tastic episode, isn't it? I'm just gonna throw down... I'm actually gonna take this torch. Actually, were there torches in this library? What's, what's making this bright? Did I miss something? Yeah, look at those up there. I'm taking those torches. Just toss down this moss stone. It's not rare or anything. Yeah, this is like eight torches or something like that. It's cool. Oh, and then look, there's even more down here. Sweet. Alright, I'm just gonna grab some of these then. Dun, dun, dun. I don't care if it makes them start spawning in this room. It doesn't bother me. Not a problem. Got a zombie spawner in there. Already checked. Yep, yep. Okay, I just need enough torches to secure the area around my entrance to this place. That's probably a good idea to leave that there. Spoida? Spoida? 
We got this cave out here. Kind of dark. It'd be nice to put that there. I could even go so far as to block this in. Like I did in the nether. And actually make it pretty friggin' legit in here. Let's just do it like this, shall we? <laughs> that works. It's not quite done. It's gonna be ugly, but it works. Alright, sweet. So that's enclosed now. Which means if I put a wall of dirt up here... Then we're pretty much done. Alright, sweet. So this is all enclosed. There's no way for them to get in. Besides, through the ceiling over here. I need to make some kind of staircase up there. Do I have any... I could get some of those ladders from that library. That's what I could do. And just make a ladder back up. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a zombie spawner around somewhere. That's way too loud for it not to be. And back this way. Probably got some mobs by now. Right? Where are you? Gonna pop out and scare me? Uh, nope. All right. I wouldn't either. Not brave enough. Not brave enough to scare me. Interesting. Interesting logic, Poncho. Four ladders. Four ladders. Only five. I hope five is enough to get me up there. Cause I'm running back now. Huh. <sighs> well, we got one foot in a stronghold. I can see that these are much more uh, resource-rich than abandoned mine shafts. I'm, I'm impressed, actually, with how much good loot I'm getting from this. It's like five ladders might not quite be enough. I can give myself a boost. Actually, I don't even need that bottom one, do I? <laughs> Just barely enough. Sweet. Alright, so now I've got a nice way to go back upstairs when I want to. I blocked myself in safely here. With no. Dang it, that's loud. Dude, y'all are crazy. Alright, pretty freaking awesome. I need to stop that from happening. So this looks kinda neat. I've I'm I'm not I'm not really overwhelmed with like amazingness, because I've seen these before, but I'm still in, sort of impressed with how, how well generated it all. Oh, is there a cave out there? Dude. You know how sweet it would be to have found this from wandering in that cave? Oh my god. That would have been so freaking cool. You're just like wandering through a cave and you come across... And you, like, you see it and you'd, you'd be like, huh, dungeon? And then you'd get closer and be like, that's not mossy cobble, that's brick. And it's like, what? So can I walk on these? Yeah, you can walk on these. Okay, cool. Alright, so I guess I need 12 ender eye. Because I don't have even a single one in this area here yet. Uh, now we've got a stair block missing. That's irritating. I'm gonna leave a workbench here, I think. Let's put that down. I'm gonna make some ugly stairs. Stick them in here. And then... Yeah, wow, sweet. Well, we pretty much took this place over. I think in the next episode, I'm going to enchant what will probably be... Gosh, the second to last piece of armor. And then... Just go nuts. We might even go to the end, like two episodes from now. Maybe even maybe even next time. We'll just see how it goes. Alright, so it looks like the corner of that map is yeah, right in the middle of that one. Okay, so it's actually not too far. So I'm gonna walk back to the the uh, perch now with this other map out to finish off that route on the way back. But that's pretty much it for this episode. I'm gonna get another fifty levels on the zombie grinder in between levels or if levels, what? In between videos, and then next time around I will be ready to enchant, I guess, um, one last piece of armor, perhaps, or maybe this, maybe we'll do both of them, do something cool, with like a speed up or something. We'll do both, and then I will go to the end. Yeah, wow, I'm just, I'm sort of like going mentally like through a checklist, like how I done all the things that would be smart to do before going to the end. I'm thinking, all right, enchanted armor, get some good potions ready, I'll have those put together. I'm just going to be making more of the same from what you saw in that other video. Freaking spiders! Seriously, though. Freaking spiders. Ugh. Should have taken the land route. 
<laughs> oh god. Why does it have to be snakes? I think that same expression would apply just fine with spiders. Well, it looks like I'm swimming back. Yeah, like practically already in the other map now, aren't I? Getting close. Alright, that's pretty legit, actually. That's not too far off. Let's see when I pop in from the top of this one. Yeah, I'm sort of delaying the end of the video now, so I've like, I feel like there's more for me to do, but I guess I'm just anxious to go to the end next time around. So I feel like we're pretty much ready. Next episode, I'm gonna put my shit together, and we are gonna go to the end. Wish me luck. Give me... I, I know I need to uh, be prepared. Yeah, I need to bring the right gear to the end. That's right. I, cause I need to go up to those towers and get the freaking whatever McCall what's off the top. How do you... What's the best way to break those? Tell me in the comments. Because I think they explode, right? I don't want to do that with my face. So... And then maybe I can shoot him with the bow? Can I, just, can I just shoot those little crystal things that he's got with the bow? Do I have to actually go up there and hit him with the fist or something? Uh, I don't know about that. And then... Hmm. What else? Yeah, I think uh, if I do have to go up there, I'm not going to bring blocks with me. I'm probably going to bring ladders. And we'll just do it that way. And then, I guess with the infinity bow... Oh, I might uh, put a pumpkin... Oh, it's snowing! I should have lived in a tundra. Because I freaking hate rain, but the snow is, no, snow is fine. I wonder if I could artificially change the biomes with, like, world edit or something and make the perch in a tundra. That would be pretty sweet. I would I would do that if I could, or if I knew how. <coughs> Moo. So yeah, give me uh, tips about the Ender Dragon, because next time, we're fighting him. Thanks for watching. See you guys then. Here's a pleasant discovery. The route from the perch to the stronghold fits on one map.